all class, Math Ninja here. So this is the 50th video, and uh, congratulations. Stop me. I, I, I brag. And oh, by the way, this is a new mask because um, the housing, they threw out my old mask. They found it. They threw it out. It's possible. But OK, lots of things in this world that are black. So today, first off, homework we have to do. 12.1, 12.2, 12.7 on partitions. Do these before you do the largest thing. I, I, I prefer it. You have to understand these before the largest thing. And for the largest thing, you start with 11.3, 11.4, and 11.12. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I did. I know I promised to teach the largest thing last time. I thought for the 50th lecture, 50th video, I should definitely. Uh, I should definitely d dedicate this video to the largest dam because it has perfect proof for Euler's dam, which is a co which is corollary is for Mars Little thing. Yeah, so sorry, this is actually also a new room because camp ended today. So I try to do it in the morning, but there's still people. Yeah, it's okay if if they complain. I I promise you. Excellent. So first thing we talked about last time was. Equivalence relations, and, how, and we can build partitions from equivalence relations. And I showed, think I showed you proof about why it's a partition. So, yeah, sure. So, the equivalence relation that we looked at, for example, was the one that we're going to consider about today is y is related to x if and only if, or we say, in this case, we say y, we look at the relation y related to x, we will find it as when um, y inverse x is in h, where h, can you show up on camera? Yes, where h is a subgroup. Okay. So, and yeah, y and x are in g. So, let me show up. Okay, I can move a little bit here. Okay, so that is one equivalence relation we looked at last time. Not all of them, this is just one particular one. And it's going to be used to prove the grand gist thing. So, okay. Oh, we actually did some equivalence relations. But we also know. Let's say, let's build a, let's look at the group x division. Why x is in h? If and only if y inverse x is equal to h, let's call it h one, or sum h in h, which is equal to sum h in h. That's the definition. You hear me have one definition, but this definition of set inclusion. We're not going to include it, but a, a, a set membership. So, okay. This is actually saying, this is equivalent to saying, x is equal to y h in h. Okay. Why now? This one. So this one. We define that we can put on class y power of y equals the set of or actually two steps. No, it's one. Equal to all x, where y h1, y h, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back here instead of h1. For some h of y h equals x. For some h, so all I did here was I said, okay, I know this is a formless relation, but now let's look at the class containing just the fixed y. So in other words, looking at, so we have rhyming as a constellation, rhyming with the word uh, blue. Then I'm going to only look at just fix that word, blue. Fix one word at a time and say, okay, let's look at everything that rhymes just with blue. For example, snoo, 
or Hulu or Sanku. Yes, I'm super creative. So we fix it. And this is the word that just rhymes with this one one. But look at this. What is the size of R1? Size of R1 is going to be equal to size of H. Why? By the way, the Y is fixed, and this is all X's that form in part of Y and X. You're fixing H, uh, you're fixing Y, and you're just multiplying Y with all possible H to get X. But suppose that you have two H's, H1, H2. You get, so you take two elements in H. And, uh, this is right one. And you multiply them out, okay? Maybe I should work something darker. You multiply them out, you get the same thing. So we say multiply them out with the fixed y. y of h1 equals y of h2. How does that happen? What happens then? Then you multiply both sides by y inverse, you get y inverse y h1 equals y inverse y h2. Similarly, if h1 equals h2. So this says if you multiply if you have two of the same products with two different, with two H and one H2, and they're the same, then H1, H2 has to be equal. So what does it say? This then says that, maybe I should have picked it up. Oh, it's okay. And YouTube has great advantage, you can always pause fast forward. Great advantage? Is it there? I'm just going to rewrite part of it like that. One, or change one, it's kind of really bad. There it is. So, then this says, because, okay, why? So, if G is what this is, why H1 equals why H2, implies, if only if H1 equals H2. So, this says, that the size, you can know the absolute value of that size. So this is the size of Ry. So this size here has to equal the same size of H. Why? Because each H1, each element of H, when multiplied by a Y, by a fixed Y, it's Y. Y is fixed. We give you new elements, different elements, and they have to be same size because it's only each of them. I take 10 cookies and I multiply it by 5. To each one I multiply it by Johnny. Each cookie multiplied by Johnny. Gives you new elements, new things. And so, but there's only 10 things I multiply with a fixed thing. So I have, okay. I'm also a bartender, so I have 10 different vodkas, and I put in a, a little, or actually 10 different rums, okay? 10 different rums. I put in a mint in each one. It's more complicated. More, more fields are more complicated than but, but I will pretend for now it's not as complicated. 10 different rums. Put in mint in each one. I sell it off as a different type of rum, with different type of name, because the rum, each rum has different taste. So, 10 different rums. If I can only make it from the rums I originally had, this one size of H is fixed. I can only have only 10 different rums. Multiply each rum. Put, add, change it by adding a mint. Gives you each a different mojito. And a mojito is only the same as the other mojito if they are from the same rum. Okay. So it's equal to the size of H. But here's what you notice. This is the equipment's class relation. Because see, for adding Y, I just, if it's not empty yet, very simple. I take out another element. I take out another, if, it, if I have not exhausted my resources yet, I, have, I can still take out another one. And that will make, uh, so in other words, if I have, if I take an element, if I have a space, 